Welcome back. Time now for news from the left. The DNC earlier today announcing they are allocating a half a million bucks to an advertising campaign in Spanish and English to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. DNC obviously panicking as Republicans are making huge inroads in the Latin American community simply by not being pseudo-socialists and not having an agenda that destroys American quality of life. That's pretty much all it takes these days to be Democrats. Not sure why the Democrat Party is so worried about their Latin American connection, though, because Jill Biden, the doctor, has a visceral connection to the Hispanic community, as we know. With faith in each other, anything is possible. So say it with me. Si se puede. The future is ours. Thank you. Si se puede. God, I need to make that my ringtone. I have to remember to make that my ringtone. That was the same day that she told Latinos that they are as unique as breakfast tacos, by the way. Jill Biden, the doctor. Up next, the NFL embarrassing itself again for Latino Heritage Month, releasing this shield. According to the NFL, the shield integrates an unmistakable Latin flavor. That's it. Uh, they're describing the yellow scribble on the shield as the electric brush stroke of the Enye F.A. L.A., uh, is filled with an infectious personality that is carried out throughout the rest of the look and feel. So they basically put the little Enye on top of the N and NFL. Aside from the fact that NFL is an acronym, so this makes no freaking sense, it's also some of the most transparent pandering imaginable. Roger Goodell should just wear a sombrero and a mustache and do the Macarena before every game. You know, that would be equivalent. Moving on, big time lib, Los Angeles mayoral candidate Karen Bass admitting that she no longer feels safe in L.A. You know, Angelinos all around the city are not feeling safe. And I did feel safe until my safety was shattered. I had guns for personal safety, as do many people. And uh, I think that gun control is extremely important. But I have never believed that people, if they wanted to have guns, should not have them. It's a heck of a campaign ad if you're running as a Democrat in L.A. You know, she's basically saying she agrees with how the city's being run because other members of her party that she fully supports and has known for years are running L.A. right now. It's just time for a new mayor. I don't feel safe here. My party has made me feel completely unsafe. You should elect me, and I promise to change absolutely nothing. That's a bold campaign ad. We'll see how it works. Next up, Don Lemon has been demoted over at CNN. No more prime time. Don, Poppy Harlow, and Caitlin Collins going to anchor the new morning show over at CNN. So a couple other people are getting booted, too. CNN uh, CEO Chris Licht saying, the new guy saying, there's no stronger combination of talent than Don, Poppy, and Caitlin to deliver our promise of a game-changing morning news program. Licht also says, together, the squad has a rare chemistry and will offer a smart, bold, and refreshing way to start your day. Now... You know, they're trying to, what, get rid of the rampant liberalism over there. It's going to be kind of hard to do when Don is the face of your morning show. We kind of know his politics, but uh, I guess Don uh, got away with one there. Brian Stelter, not so much. Finally, Democrat Majority uh, Leader, House Majority Leader, Steny Hoyer, had the audacity to say this today. They made it quite clear. They want to eliminate what they call the deep state. The deep state is a cadre of professionals dedicated to honoring the Constitution, the laws of this country, and carrying out the policies of the Congress and the President. The deep state is a cadre of professionals dedicated to this country. <laughs> well, of course, if you're a Democrat, you believe that. In reality, the deep state is a cadre of professionals that have distorted a once great government into an institution that only prioritizes itself and the increase of its own power. Your government has metastasized into its own little beast, and now we're trying to wrangle it. It don't want to be wrangled anymore. And that's a scary thought.
Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today. 